So, have you ever heard of Rasto? Do you know, I don't think that many people will have, to be fair. I mean, I guess that means there's no preconceptions to get rid of. That is true, and also we wouldn't be sat here doing this video. So why don't you tell these lovely viewers, what is Rasto? Well, Rasto is a village in the southern Rhone, which some people might know for its sweet wines, the Vin de Naturel, but it also makes fantastic table wine, and we're actually going to be focused on red wines today. And all that means what for the consumer? If they like their wines spicy and fruity, like lots of the reds from the Rhone are known for, then they absolutely will love Rasto. Especially as it's relatively unknown, it means you can find great value for money. So it's probably best we know exactly where we're talking about. So it's just a three hour fast train journey down from Paris, and it's very near the town of Lyon. The southern Rhone is actually sandwiched between Montelimar, which is Mr. Like the Nougat place. Oh, yeah. Some people might have heard that one. Uh -huh. And also Avignon further south, and you know, that of the famous bridge. Oh, Hotspot destination, Hot folks. Hotspot indeed, yeah. And nestled in amongst all this, here is Rasto. So what makes Rasto special? Well, I could talk about the Roman heritage, the medieval wine trade that really built up the area, but really it comes down to a wine geek's best friend, terroir. Terroir. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming we're talking hilly? Absolutely. Yeah, and we've got a hodgepodge of all these kind of very distinct soil types. You bet. Yeah. And uh, probably quite a lot of sun, I'd imagine. Yes, but what's so brilliant about these hills and this very specific soil is it gives freshness to what otherwise could be quite heavy, sun-drenched wines. Rasto is always a blend, but it needs to have at least half of the grapes being Grenache. Okay, so you're going to get that body, the alcohol, and that kind of lovely fruit structure you get from Grenache. Absolutely, but then you can also sprinkle in some syrup or black pepper spice and a savoury element. Or you can throw in a little bit of Morvedra for a rustic appeal and a dash of, you know, Sanso and Carignan for more structure and colour. So it's got that great tannic structure, mm -hmm. it's got the complexity of fruit and also it's got that lovely freshness that you've been talking about from the hillside slopes. So I'd imagine these can be quite age-worthy. Absolutely. This is a 2013 vintage and it has wonderful savoury aspects but still really pure fruit and a lovely freshness. However, I would add that with all of these wines, it's really, really important to aerate them in order to have maximum deliciousness. So with all those different grape varieties you've been speaking about, there's clearly lots here for the winemaker to play around with. Exactly. So this one here, for example, is 50% Grenache, 50% Syrah. So you've got this wonderful combination of fleshy, juicy fruit with a little bit of savoury elements going on. This one here, Grenache, Syrah, but then a cheeky little pinch of Morvedra just to give it a little extra punch. So these wines are quite full bodied and have quite a bit of tannin and therefore aren't the most simple quaffing wines. However, they are awesome with food. And as they always say, whatever grows together goes together. So here we have some Southern Rhone delicacies, which we will enjoy with our Rasto. Oh God, the first thing that hits you really is that body. So it's gonna go great with that charcuterie platter. But also there's that herby kick as well. Mm. I'm gonna love that with some tapenade. And you can also just enjoy, I mean, you just imagine like a duck confit burger as well or something like that with one of these. I mean, the possibilities are just endless with these wines, which is what makes it so fun. So next time you're in your wine shop, there's no need just to go straight for those old Rome favorites. There's big bold Aussies or even those fruity floral Malbecs that everybody drinks. No, absolutely not. These wines are true discoveries. So cheers. Indeed, cheers. cheers. <laughs>